Could you go through with us what's in the box when you get the microphone and how you would, would record with it in a field set? Yeah, of course. So um, the microphone itself is in there and um, the basket should always be on it um, in order to protect it from RF frequencies. And um, it's also coming with this shock mount, which is very practical um, on set. Uh, you should always use it. Um, there's also a foam wind shield coming with it um, to protect it from light winds. And the output from the microphone itself is a 12-pin connector. And with the 12-pin connector, you just um, connect the extension cable. And the extension cable goes into the splitter for the microphone. So the splitter is giving you the four XLR outputs. So that is basically what we refer to as the Ambisonics A format. Exactly. This is the, the raw A format. Um, it's important to note that you have uh, numbers um, on, the, on the splitter and this needs to go uh, into the field recorder in the, in the correct order. So we have um, a field recorder here. Um, the minimum specs for a field recorder are basically four channels in order to, to connect all the four capsules. You need to have phantom power and an important part is also gain link. Um, so I'm going to connect the XLR in the correct order. So one is going into one and two, two, three, four. And then we can power it up and then I can show you what gain link means. So we are powered up now. It's running on phantom power. And what I did now for the gain link is that I assigned all the four channels um, onto the first knob. So that means this first gain is, is controlling the gain for all four capsules. And this will give you the guarantee that you're actually creating um, the correct sound sphere and you're not having you're actually getting the correct positioning of, of the sound sources around you. Yeah, so it's not about reading the same level out on the bus. It's about Ambisonics works in a way normally that you will have different level metering. So the important point is to take care about the channel ordering and applying identical gain on all channels. Exactly.